Y'all seen the video of that mama who lost her 10 day old baby in the house fire? Or so she thought. Bitch, why the fuck her house catch on fire? Once the detectives in the fire, you feel me, 911 people coming shit, bitch, they don't see no baby remains, but her baby is gone. So they telling her maybe because the baby was so tiny, only 10 days old, the bones didn't come out how they supposed to if it was a regular person who caught on fire and passed away. And they basically told this lady like, yes, I'm sorry, your daughter passed in the fire. The lady is like, I know I'm not fucking delusional because I guess she ran in the house while the fire was just starting up and she went to the crib to get her baby before it got too big and the baby wasn't in the crib. But everybody's like saying like, oh, it's mother's delusion. Like she's just delusional. This is a crazy situation. Like they're just basically letting her say whatever story she wants to say. In their head, she's making it up, but in her head, she's dead the fuck serious. Boom. Five, six, seven years pass. This lady has no daughter. Daughter gone. Or so she thought. She go to a little family function. I don't know if it was with her husband or her ex-husband, but long story short, she's still cool with the family of whoever the baby daddy was. So she goes to that family function. They eat, they drink, and they ain't having a good time. She sees this little girl who's five, six, seven years old around that age. And she looking at the little girl like, damn, like that really do look like my daughter. Mind you, that had to be mother's intuition because I don't know how you could tell if somebody's your kid from newborn. Like it was only 10 days old. This baby has developed so much, but she knew that was her fucking daughter. She didn't want to scare the daughter off though. So she goes over to play with the little girl and gets a strand of her hair and keeps it. That motherfucker pull, act like she pulling gum out of the baby hair, but really keep the strands of the hair and take it to go get DNA tested. Why the fuck was that her baby? I guess the day of the fire, that family member was over her house, but that family member had just suffered a miscarriage and didn't tell nobody about it. So everybody's still thinking that she's pregnant or whatever. Whole time, she just stole this lady baby. Mind you, this is not her family member. It's like her family member in law because it's the baby daddy's family who was over. That's who party function she's at. So you mean to tell me, y'all made me and my baby daddy suffer. I'm mad at him going off on him because he think I'm crazy just like the rest of y'all. But I know that my baby is going whole time, bitch. You got my daughter? Y'all, people be crazy as fuck. That's just a prime example that it be your own people. Bitch, you don't even got to watch for the strangers in the street, hoe. Watch for your cousins and your aunties and your uncles and them in-laws right next to you. Long story short, the, the story ended good. She ended up reuniting with the daughter. They got in custody. I think the lady who kidnapped her ended up going to